I'm going to challenge you a lot <laughs> if you keep listening to me. <laughs> the truth is that you think you need an income. And that has become your reality. The truth is that's not how God made you. The truth is... How could we have got here today if we didn't take... Yeah, but see, now, you, now you're going very intellectual. Let me finish what I'm saying. The truth is that God didn't make you that way. God made you to be this perfect attracting machine that attracts everything it needs automatically without you needing to do anything. Aside from feel everything. To feel your passion, feel your desire, follow that. Still have to survive. It doesn't matter. See now that's your mind. This is your mind. I'm telling you, this is your mind kicking into gear. This is your mind kicking into gear. You believe the unreality you've created. You believe the dream. Oh, no, honestly, all of you here at some state, some state, including myself, believe the dream. But it's not real. God never created you this way. God created you to be this perfect person who needs nothing outside of itself. That's how God created you. We have created all these things we think we need. Do you follow me? Yeah? God created us to populate the world. We populate the world. There's not enough food there, so we've got to create it. <laughs> of course, but what's that got to do with money and working and everything? It's got nothing to do with money and working and everything. We created that too. Because we wanted to place a value on this and a value on that. And we wanted to then compare. And we wanted to make myself better than you. And that I wanted to have more wealth than you. And I wanted to create... And these are all these different creations that are all based on these emotions that I got right from the time I was an infant right the way through. And now I believe them to be true. I believe them to be real. But they're not. From God's perspective. Remember I said to you, do you want your truth or do you want God's truth? Mm -hmm. right. What do you want? You know, uh, uh, as you were saying that uh, uh, Jesus said or you said that uh, it was easier for a mustard seed, uh, a mustard seed to enter mm -hmm. heaven in the kingdom of God than for man because mm -hmm. mustard seed, well, it doesn't have faith and truth where uh, man just can't comprehend that. Mm -hmm. yep. See, a lot, a lot of times what we've done is we've lost the very basics that God has given us. And we've constructed this whole dream-like state that we now believe is true. We believe it's real. But it's not real. And the proof is, is it really... Like, it causes all this destruction. This whole system that you and me want to stay believing in causes all these terrible, terrible things in the world. Why do you think a third of the world is starving to death? Because we believe what we believe, right here. That's why a third of the world is starving to death. And we need to change our beliefs, and the only way we're going to do that is to feel our emotions. Yeah. So if, but if one person was to get complete faith, would everyone else's negative be bring them down? Is that it's sort of all connected? No, but see, once you're at one with God, once you're at one with God, now, how can anyone draw you down? Well, like, um... Keep it real, sort of like as a, But see, once you're at one with God, you're getting supplied with God's love constantly. Yeah. How can anybody draw you down? They can't. So that's how you become the light of the world. But you know how you said, like, if you're negative, it affects other people. Like, the, um... It's not if you're negative that affects other people. It's when you choose to not experience your emotion that it affects other people. But... Like the animal equation, how we eat them, so, like, can everyone else affect you, is what I mean. Like, even if you got complete faith, can all the other people around affect you, like we affect the animals? Or... No, they can't. That's the beauty of doing... See, the animals don't have a soul, and they, don't have, they can't have a connection with God in the direct sense that a human soul can. Right? When we have a direct connection with God, once we're at one with God, nothing can affect us. And how can anything affect God? If we're at one with God, how can anything affect us? That makes sense, right? Yeah. right? So the key is become at one with God, then none of these things will affect you. You won't even believe them. You won't even believe you need money anymore. 
You won't believe it anymore. And everyone around you will believe what they think is the truth. And they'll argue with you and try to fight with you about it. But the truth is that it, you know it's not real. You'll know. And so is that then, therefore, the so-called reality changes because everyone's lenses are seen through love and the animals yeah. be taken care of. Yeah. Um, the earth would heal itself. Exactly. Everything would heal. Everything would heal if all of us took responsibility for our emotion, connected with God to the point of abundance. Absolutely everything that is currently <coughs> negative in our environment would just automatically disappear. The reverse would be true of what he said, really, because you would affect everybody around you. Exactly. Exactly. That's why one person in the first century at one with God caused lots of changes on the earth. Like, you imagine a hundred of you being at one with God? You imagine what that would do? Like, the whole world would change just from a, like, totally, just from a hundred people being at one with God. Change.